Hello, my name is Nikki Novoselsky and I am a traveling mindset mentor here to give you all the travel tips and mindset tips to live a full, joyous and satisfying life. Today, I am so, so, so excited. I am like bursting with excitement. If you cannot tell from my enthusiasm, I am here on Koh Phangan. I hope I'm saying that right, Koh Phangan, in the southern islands of Thailand. And why am I freaking out? Because it is absolutely incredible. I have fallen in love with this island and I've really only been here for about 24 hours at the moment. So I'm here for another couple weeks and I want to show you around because this island is spectacular. Let's go take a look, shall we? Okay, so how did I get here? Well, it was an eight hour journey. I took a five hour bus from Phuket to the port and then a three hour ferry from the port to Koh Phangan. So I got driven from my hotel in the south of Phuket all the way up to the bus station, which was, I took a Bolt using Bolt app, which was about 200 baht. And then the bus went from the bus station to Surat Thani, which was 600 baht, including the ferry. So then from Surat Thani, we took a three hour ferry, which was a huge boat. It wasn't like the small boat from Krabi to Phuket. This was a huge boat, so it wasn't super uh, rocky and I didn't get seasick at all, which was great. And that was three hours. So the bus and the ferry all together, 600 baht. Like, that is so amazing to get all the way from Phuket to Koh Phangan. So we made it to Koh Phangan and I am staying on the beach. I'm staying in the Northwest and it is beautiful here. I'll have to show you the beach. I'll have to show you where I'm staying and how much it costs because I know that places, we, we wanna know the cost of all the places. So let me give you that of the accommodation and you can compare prices between here and other places because this, like I'm already like, I've been here 24 hours and I'm like, yeah, yep, I could live here. Like this is amazing so let's keep exploring i know there's so much to explore so let's see what copangan has to offer us so the place i'm staying at has a nice co-working spot they have breakfast i'm right on the beach wake up to the sound of the waves and i can take a morning beach walk which is amazing and the rooms are incredible so there's different styles there's a small little bungalow room with no ac which is about 500 baht for one night i'm saying i'll have to show you in this beautiful uh, air-conditioned room right overlooking the beach and that's actually 1,100 baht per night but it's 20,000 baht per month so the longer you stay you can get a bigger discount let's take a look at the beautiful room Little couch, little mirror area, little wardrobe for all my stuff, lots of stuff, little desk, and bathroom. Just standard bathroom with shower. It's a nice, decent sized room, beautiful view, great price, co working area wonderful access to the beach to meditate and take a walk so i am very happy in this spot secret place is what it's called and there's so much to do there's sup there's surfing or uh stand up paddle boarding and there are snorkel masks apparently the snorkeling is amazing here so i'm gonna go sup and snorkel and uh, get something to eat the water here is beautiful. You can go snorkeling, you can do sup paddle boarding, you can just swim. It's 
perfectly warm and wonderful there's like no waves so it's giving me a lot of Gili Air vibes if you've ever been to Lombok or Bali and been to the Gili Islands it's giving me like very relaxed Gili Air vibes combined with Uluwatu in Bali and a little bit of Ubud <laughs> like it's like giving me all of that combination why because there's a lot of vegan cafes here and there's also just really easy access to the beaches it's very carefree very chill like you get onto this island and you're immediately just like <sighs> take a deep breath the energy here i think it's pretty magical it's such a great vibe and such a great energy here this is for sure one of my favorite islands so far that i've visited i'm in love i'm in love Kopangan has a Saturday night market where there's lots of street food and clothes. Everything looks delicious and cheap and there's a ton of people here. So this is the happening thing to do on Saturday night. So we're gonna check it out, come along for the ride to see what there is in the stands. And it's 20 baht? Yep. Okay. This market's really nice with so many different foods. This was calling me, so this was a little bit more expensive, but it was 160 baht, and then I got some little like coconutty snacks for 20 baht. So this is really good. It's hitting the spot and I might go back for some other things, maybe a fruit shake. And then you get to sit on the beach and eat whatever you got and have a beautiful view. So we are very content. Definitely hit up the Saturday walking market. You might have heard of Kopangan being a party island with all of the full moon parties here, but there is so much more to it because there's so much beautiful nature here that I want to explore a lot of it. So I'm taking you along with me. I'm currently at Paradise Waterfall and you can hear the serene waterfall already. And just being in nature is so so, so healing, one of my favorite things. So I'm really excited to check out all of this nature here in Kopangan. This island has it all. It has the nature, it has the party, it has the vegan cafes, it has the beautiful views, the beaches. Like, I already extended another week because I love it here so much. So expats who have been living here a long time and a lot of the locals, this nature, this island is so sacred. So I don't want to show too much and give away too much because I don't want it to become so, so, so touristy, this beautiful sacred nature. So what I will say is if you do come to the island, definitely explore and check it out for yourself and leave it better than you found it, as always, anywhere that you're searching. But this island, really, it's truly magical and the energy here is incredible. The nature is phenomenal. So highly recommend coming and checking it out and being peace, being at peace with nature and also just being respectful of the island and the land and the nature as you would anywhere that you go. So I'm gonna take a look at this beautiful waterfall and I can go swimming. So I'm just gonna hang out and uh, be in nature. So after visiting that waterfall, I am hungry. A friend of mine recommended a local Thai spot, so I'm here at Anuta, Anuta, and we are eating chicken basil with vegetables and rice, and I love it because it's local prices, 100 baht, and I'm ready to taste this. It looks incredible. 
and I'm super hungry. So, woo, we love this. Here we go with Thai food. Thai food is amazing. So I've been eating a lot at the more Western restaurants, the vegan cafes, but now I'm eating more local and it's cheaper and it's still incredible. So let's try, try some here. Mm. Aroy, aroy mak mak. As always, as always. So today I'm super excited because I'm trying Muay Thai here in Thailand. I did Muay Thai back in Bali, but this will be my first time trying it here authentically in Thailand. So I'm gearing up, it's two hours and it's typically 400 baht for one class. The place that I'm at, they have an intro offer for the first class. So it's 240 baht for the first time. Otherwise you can get other packages here for a day, a week, a month. But uh, we're gonna try it here. Okay, we just finished Muay Thai and holy moly, I am a mess. <laughs> that was so intense. The instructor realized that I was not a beginner even though I practiced like eight months ago and he, I was remembering how to do some of the things and he was like, you. Uh, so I was practicing with this girl who was really, really good and I ended up sparring. They put me in the ring and I was like fighting with two guys and this girl and like, I'm gonna have so many bruises. <sighs> Holy moly, that is a workout. Do not underestimate Muay Thai. Now I'm sitting outside 7-Eleven drinking some coconut water to hopefully get some energy back, but that was kind of addicting. I loved it. I love Muay Thai. It's such a good workout. It's super intense. Like your brain is working, your body's working, everything's working. I think I was bleeding, lots of things happening, but I am so sweaty and exhausted. So we're gonna go eat, chill, shower, hang, breathe, and recover. That was, that was intense. I wish I had more footage of me sparring, but uh, I might spare you from watching me get beat up. <laughs> so now I'm at Amsterdam bar and this is a bar that's known to see the sunset. So it's really high up, drove up a little hill and um, seems like the sunset's gonna be super nice tonight. So I'm gonna eat dinner and enjoy. We love sunset rooftop bars. keep calling Koh Phangan the island that keeps on giving because I'm now here at Guan Yin which is the shrine so it was 40 baht to get in for a ticket and it's the shrine of Our Lady Guan Yin of Phangan so this tip ticket is for temple maintenance and utility and I wasn't sure what to expect I just saw it while I was driving and it's beautiful. And seriously, like there's so many cool things on this island. Nature, temples, shrines, beaches, parties, all of it. You get it all here. about this shrine though, so I wonder if there's any information that I can find out. Uh, we're gonna be looking for some stuff. All right, let's take a look at what we can see here at the shrine of the lady, the lady shrine. It's a beautiful day out. Okay, I actually have no idea what I'm looking for. I'm just walking around. It seems like that was the main thing, unsure. Oh, looks like we're coming upon lots and lots of stairs. 
Ooh, okay. We're just gonna see what we see. Oh, here's a big Buddha. Hey, Boods. Bless. Do you think I can hit this gong? Oh. Okay, we still no sign of the Shrine of the Lady, but I just want to point out, you can see the ocean and the palm trees, ocean, palm trees, gong, all the things. So this is so beautiful. And I want to mention that I was working this morning. So I have a remote job and I was working this morning and I have my own social media agency and I also do mindset life coaching for people. So if you're interested in living this life of traveling around, being a digital nomad, like. I got the blueprint for you. Definitely check out link in the description of where to begin because this life is possible where you get to work, travel, and have freedom. So while we're looking for the lady, I just wanted to let you know that you can also be looking for the lady too. <laughs> All right, let's go see. There's some stairs. I think we found her. I think we found the Lady Shrine and I'm the only one here because it's like 3 p.m. on a Monday. <laughs> so I get her all to myself and I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna enjoy. And there is some text about her, but it's all in Thai. So if anyone wants to give me more information about this Lady Shrine, I'd love to know. But we're just gonna sit and bask in her presence together. <laughs> I mean, as a woman, I love that there's a goddess shrine of her. She's beautiful. Taking in all the goddess energy. I'm sending it to all you goddesses too. Can you feel it? The thing about Thailand is not only is it hot, <laughs> But when you get here, you just feel this energy of like this Buddhist energy. It's such a beautiful energy to be a part of. So even though I'm not particularly Buddhist, I love being engulfed in the culture and in the religion. And I just think it's so beautiful to learn about different cultures, different religions, different languages. That's a huge part of traveling. That's why I love traveling so much. Okay, so I'm getting ready for the full moon party. You might have heard that Koh Phangan is an island full of parties. It is known for its full moon party. And I get to be here for when it happens. So I'm not really a, a partier, but I gotta go check it out. So I'm gonna bring you with me. I heard that there's lots of fire, lots of body painting lots of music by the beach so uh, it's all the way in Harin which is like 40 minutes from where I'm staying so you can take a taxi there for 300 baht I'm personally just gonna drive my scooter just because I don't plan on getting pretty wild but uh yeah so let's go check out the full moon party together and dance under the full moon you ready to see what Kopangan's full moon party is like <gasps> Okay y'all, the full moon party was so fun. There were so many people there. There was lots of fire. There was fire in limbo. There was a fire jump rope that people were willingly throwing themselves into with a 100% chance of getting burned. I didn't do that, but if you have an adventurous soul and want to get burned, I guess you can do that. They had these big buckets of alcohol where you were just drinking and sipping. I personally didn't bring a bag, but if you want to bring a small bag to carry on you or a fanny pack, I just kept everything in my pockets and that was safe. I wore flip flops so that I can go into the ocean, but some people were wearing gym shoes, so just up to you. Lots of people, so make sure you protect your belongings and you're being very aware of what's going on. 
and it was a super fun time. So lots of people say it's overrated. I personally really enjoyed going and seeing what all the fuss was about and what the hype was, and it's up to you. It's just a fun spectacle to see and a fun environment, that's for sure. I was dancing all night long on the beach. So if, if you want to go to the full moon party, definitely check it out. Copangan has everything. They have that full moon party. They have hiking, beautiful nature, amazing cafes. Like this island has blown me away. That's why I keep extending my stay here. So it's absolutely wonderful. I love this island. It has grabbed my heart and I will for sure be back. But if you like this video and you like seeing Copangan, definitely hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos and adventures along with mindset tips and yoga and how to be a digital nomad. So we have all the things on how to get you traveling full time and living a life that feels so fulfilling and joyous. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. See you next time. Bye.